Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to give an element a shadow. So we can give shadows to images, but we can't do it to an element. So I'm just going to show you how to do this. And it's something you can add to your designs. OK, so I'm going to go for um, maybe a heart. Just do something simple to show you. So something like this, okay. So we've got a lovely heart. We can use this, obviously Valentine's Day is just gone. I'm gonna change the color. Now I can click edit image and I can do lots of different things to this, but I can't give it a background shadow. And if I want to use this within a design with a nice background shadow, I can't because it's an element. So the best way to do this add the element to your design. I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to use this one. I like this one. Nice red heart. And I'm going to download it as a PNG with a transparent background. So once that's downloaded, I'm then going to upload it back into Canva. If you've got Pro, you can use the download with transparent background. Um, it is a Pro feature, I'm afraid. And now I've got my heart with a transparent background, so I can change my background color to anything I like. So you can see there's no background at all to this image. Now if I click Edit Image, the shadow options appear. So I can now give my heart a lovely shadow. Um, I've selected this one here, the drop shadow. If I select it again, I can then change these options. So the offset, I can move that. The angle, so I can give it a nice angle. The transparency, so I can have it a really nice solid color or just a gentle um, a gentle color and then the blur so I can give it a really subtle blur or I can have it as a block I'm gonna give it a little subtle blur and I can change the color so I could change it to pink but you can't really see that on this background I've got gray I can change it to any color I fancy so I'm gonna leave it as gray and I'm just gonna make it slightly darker give it less of a blur so we can see that background shadow and then hit apply. So now I have given my element a background shadow and you can do this with any element at all. Just make sure you download it with a transparent background and then re-upload the PNG file and then you can give your element a lovely shadow. So I hope you've enjoyed this super short quick shadow tutorial today.